guys, it's Kayla and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Shein haul for you guys. I got a big order this time. I'm going to be showing you guys different pieces, accessories, shoes. So we have a huge haul today. So if you like my face, if you like my content, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, guys, so here is the first top that we're going to get into. This is just a white, um, like cotton material top. I'll try to leave the links or information somewhere for you guys, but it is this cow neck top and then it's crunched or ruched on the sides. And then it has this V material right here. And in the back, I believe it also has a bead, but mine just doesn't stay down, as you can see. But there is a bead in the back. And I think this top is so cute. I will say that I thought it was gonna be more of that like shiny material. And I don't know if I would have preferred that because I feel like this material, this cotton material, makes it a little more um, casual. But I think that it is such a cute top and yeah so next is this green top i did get this top in a medium and i also wanted to say that i got my white top in a medium all my tops were in a medium um but it is this ribbed knit top with this collar and i got this because i'm trying to repay some instagram pictures that i've been seeing lately so i got this to pair it and i like it i feel like it's a really nice for the price, it's really nice quality. It's simple, there's not much to it. So, yeah. If you notice a lighting change, there is one because I simply forgot to press um, my ring light on. So anyways, this is the next top and this is the cutest top. It gave me 90s vibes and I knew I had to have it. So it is just this cute like I don't even know how to describe it but it has this U cut right here and then these like ruffles and then in the back it's just like this and it has the same little detail and then it comes to the side and I just thought that was so cute I will say that this part here and the height of this do not line up so if I were to put this like exactly in the center as you can see, it would be extremely off-centered, and I don't know why that is, but even kind of camouflage it, and I don't think people will pay that much detail. I don't know if I just got a bad one, um, but I love this top. I would give it an 8 out of 10 simply for that. The material is this, like, stretchy material, and I don't think it's see-through, so yeah. Next are these pants. And I got these pants in a large, and I'm just going to say now that they are very tight around my legs. So I would just keep that in mind that these are kind of tight, but they do have that like weird crotch area, but I cannot pull them up any further. They do come down decently on my legs, and they also have a zipper, which I think ups it a little bit more than like regular stretch flared pants so it ups the quality just a little bit more but these are very very nice i do love the quality i love the print and i think that they're going to be really great i give these like an 8 out of 10 simply because of how tight they are and i wish they were a little bit more high-waisted but other than that i think they're great pants skirt i kind of have to scoot back before this skirt it is just this plain black skirt I got this in a large. I got all my bottoms in a large, but this is like an essential for me. Like I needed a simple plain black skirt because I feel like it could go with everything. And I just love skirts and dresses. And so I needed a simple one just for like a casual day. There's no like extra detailing on it or anything. It's just this simple skirt. And I give it a 10 out of 10. Like love it so this next dress i'm sure y'all all have seen on sheet in and it is just this 
I don't even know what you would call this print, but it is a halter style dress with a cow neck and it is bodycon. I got this in a size medium and I will say with this material, you can definitely, if you're like in between sizes, you can go down to your lower size. Um, and if you're a true size, I would probably say you can size down too because it is super stretchy. I have a lot of room up here. Like I've had to adjust it in several different ways to make it stay up, like especially in the back, it's not as tight, but this is what it looks like in all angles. And I would give this like a seven out of 10 simply for the material. It is a gorgeous dress, don't get me wrong, but it definitely could be tighter um, and more form fitting. So that's my, but that's like me, my body type issue. But I love this dress. I think it's so cute and I need to go on a dinner somewhere in this dress. So let's move on to the next one. It's the next dress. It's just this marble print, marble print, marble print mesh um, dress. And I'm sure you all have seen this dress too. I got this dress in a large for some reason. And I should have got a medium, but I like to get mesh dresses a little bit bigger just because it camouflages the see-throughness of it a little bit more. But um, I do have it ruched up a little bit in the stomach area, as you can see, because it could definitely be a church dress almost on me. But I love this dress. I think it is so cute. Um, and once again, I can see myself dinner somewhere i would give this like a nine out of ten simply because i do wish it was a little bit tighter um a little bit shorter but i love it i recommend getting the i was gonna wear it as a swimsuit cover up but it's too long for that so i would pair it with nude undergarments and let's move on to the next dress so here is the next dress and it is this Heart Powerpuff Girls inspired dress. Um, I would give this dress like a six out of 10 simply because it's just not like a wow factor dress. It's a really cute dress and I just got it because, you know, to find my aesthetic and be out there and everything, but the material is okay. I did get this, I don't know what size I got this in, but I'll leave it somewhere but it has the thin spaghetti straps and it's a simple body con dress suit and i just love body con dresses so i buy a bunch of them just to wear and i think this will be cute for like an evening out like we're going to an arcade mall you know dinner something fun a party um not a club i wouldn't wear this to a club but like a cool like kickback something like that i think it'd be cute um, and definitely for picture purposes. So yeah, it was just a dress that I wanted to pick up and try it out. So let's move on to the next. So next we have this two piece set and the shirt just says, it's fine, I am fine, everything is fine. And this is definitely me. Like I say this about 50 times a week. Am I fine? No, that's not the point. However, I got this set in a large and it fits Perfectly, I will say if you are bigger chested, this is not a lot of room for a bandeau top, so be warned. Um, the skirt, of course, doesn't fit my waist perfectly, but that's okay. I feel like a medium would have been too short. The skirt also feels like paper. Like, it, I literally feel like I have on a piece of paper, but that's okay. It's still cute, and I feel like for the price, you get decent. And of course, you know, white puffing skirts are in trend, they are in style. So I think that it's a good cup. I would give it a like seven out of 10. Like I said, it's not up there, but it's a really cute item to have and you can accessorize it. Also, comment down below if you think I should wear this 4th of July. Okay, so this next piece is a swim suit from Shein, um, and she is giving. Now, this is a scandalous 
to be some me because I'm already in bikini and me and bikinis. Um, but this is a foam bottom bikini and I don't know if I can go out. But the cover up covers up, but it's like you still get the concept. And I know the perverted minds out there. The top is white and then the bottoms are the same print as the mesh part. I will say the dress part is definitely not as long. I did go up to an extra large in this because I heard Shein's swimsuits are extremely small and this fits me almost like a medium, which is wild. But yeah, if your chest is any bigger, I don't even think they go up to two legs. So I was just stray away from it. Um, but it fits really cute, it's really nice. I wish I had friends, I wish I lived in a different city so I could go to like a cute day party, you know, and be just cute, even though somebody else might have on the same outfit as me. It doesn't matter because this is still cute and this is still giving. Um, I'm not gonna show you full things just because obvious reasons, but I think this is really cute. I like it, so yeah. So we're getting into accessories and shoes now and first we have this yellow bag and this design kind of reminds me of YSL for some reason. I don't know but I thought this bag was really cute because it was different from like those handbag styles that you see everybody wearing and I really like the gold details and accents and I would give this purse like a 7 out of 10. I think it's definitely a unique purse a really cute purse to add to my wardrobe and yeah this next bag is really cute it's just this green like scrunched up bag and i think that this is a very unique style i will say that there are a few loose strings on the purse as you can see which definitely lowers the quality of it but i've been trying to upgrade my wardrobe and add some color into my accessories and i think this was a really cute and affordable way to do that and i would give this purse like a 7 out of 10 for overall quality and style and yeah this next purse is this clear purse and i love the style of this i will say that looking at it i don't like the white at the top i feel like it does make it look a little bit cheaper but once again this was just a purse to add some color into my wardrobe and also to have a unique style of purse i don't like all of my purses looking the same so i wanted to get a unique one and i love purple purple is my color if you did not know i would give this purse like a 8 out of 10 simply because of that white zipper but other than that i think it's a really cute purse so now we're getting into shoes and first up we have these braided um, mules with a clear end and I think these shoes are really cute. I love the heel length. They're not too tall but they are a decent size so I can feel comfortable in them. They're like that flip flop style. I will say I don't like the made in China on it. I just feel like it makes it like very obvious that these are cheap made shoes but so far uh, I've tried them on and they seem to be pretty comfortable. I haven't worn them out, but overall I would give them an 8 out of 10. The next shoe that I have are these green mules and I'm sure we've all seen these style of shoes everywhere. But these have that like crisscross design on it and I think these are so cute. Once again, I love the heel on them. They're not too tall because I cannot walk in heels to save my life. And I just think they're overall really cute and they're a really good transition shoe. If you want to transition color into your wardrobe or if you want to just try new styles, I think these are a nice affordable way to do that. And I like the fact that they don't have anything written on them. They're just a simple shoe. For these white shoes, these are just some white flat sandals that I like and they have that like woven design at the top. I will say that I got these in a size 9 and they are extremely long on me so I would say that you can size down in these um, because I have a lot of extra room and they do, they are loud. They're very loud shoes, they're like flip flop style. 
But other than that, I would give these a 9 out of 10. They're really cute and really comfortable. Um, they're just kind of long, so I could have sized down. And that is it for the shoes. So now we're going to move on to jewelry. So getting into jewelry, first up we have this bracelet set. And I think these are really cute. A really affordable way to add some jewelry into your wardrobe. One of the pieces were hard to put on, but other than that, I would give this like an 8 out of 10. I also ended up picking up this fake nose piercing, and this is so cute on. I give this a 10 out of 10. It was the cutest nose ring, and I definitely will be buying more fake nose jewelry and tattoos and stuff off Shein. Um, but I give this a 10 out of 10, like I said. For the next piece of jewelry, I got an anklet that says Pisces, and this is really cute. I will say that Shein's anklets run a little bit bigger um, than I would like them to, but overall, I think this is so cute and so nice, and I just love it. I would give it like an 8 out of 10, simply because I wish it was a little bit tighter, but other than that, it's super cute. And finally, for jewelry, I got this anklet set. And I will say that this set is way too big for my small ankles. I have super abnormally small ankles. And this set was way too small. I mean, way too big. But it comes with five different pieces. And they're all super cute. Um, and I just think it gives like that 90s vibe. Um, and it gives that Instagram baddie vibe. Overall, I would give it a 7 out of 10 just because I wish they were tighter. But for our final piece of accessory, I got this yellow belt to go with the outfit. And I give it like an 8 out of 10. It's very simple. But that's it for accessories. Alright guys, so that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!